Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this recipe is really a comfort food recipe. It is the type of thing that you want to eat late at night when you're sitting at home watching TV and you've got the munchies and you really want something but you don't want to eat crap. This is really for those times. It is really quick, really simple and easy to make as are all of my recipes but this one in particular you literally chuck all the ingredients in a bowl, mix it together and then you're good to go. I'm using all natural ingredients again in this. There's not actually that much sugar in this recipe but it does taste really good and I can't wait for you guys to try it. So these are the ingredients we're going to be using for the cookie dough. We have some coconut flour, coconut sugar, dark chocolate. I like to use 90% but you can use whatever chocolate you like. Almond butter, we're going to use half a banana and one vanilla pod. I'm going to start with my coconut flour. We're going to add three tablespoons into our bowl. This recipe is really just for one person, so you can double it. I like to use coconut sugar because it's just a bit more natural than refined white sugar. I just like to use two teaspoons of coconut sugar. If you want it more sweet, then you can add more. I find two teaspoons is really fine for me. So I have my vanilla from my vanilla pot here. I'm just putting that in. Then I'm going to add my banana. You can mash this up before if you want, but I like to be super lazy and I just chuck it in and then I'm going to blend it together with my hand blender. Okay, right, now I'm going to go ahead and add my almond butter. You know what? I say this is for one person, but I would never eat all of this in one go. So you can, this is probably for like two people. So it should be looking something like this. Because we're going to add the chocolate chips last because we don't want them to go too mushy. And using my hand blender, I'm going to give it all a good mix together. <coughs> so your dough should be looking a bit crumbly like this. And then what we do is we get our hands inside and we make it into a dough because usually with cookie dough it actually starts off like this and then you have to mould it together and roll it out with your hands to make the dough itself. So that's what we're going to do. But before we do that, I'm going to add my chocolate chips. I almost forgot. How could I forget the best part? Lately, I've been loving really dark chocolate. The reason I like it is because it's so much more rich. It took me a long time to get to 90%. I started off with like 70% in the beginning. And then I slowly went up to 80, 85. And now I'm on 90% chocolate and it is intense, like it is really strong. It's so satisfying and filling that you just don't need so much. It's not as Moorish as like when you eat milk chocolate and it's just full of sugar and milk and then you just really want to keep eating more and more. This is like, you have like one or two pieces and you're, you're good. I'm just going to put two pieces inside and I break it up into little chocolate chips. So I discovered this recipe in the winter when I was at home here actually in Lugano and I was watching TV and I really had the munchie. I thought, what can I make? What can I make? And I was looking at all my ingredients and I was like, oh my God, I can make a cookie dough with this. And I just started like throwing ingredients together and out came this cookie dough and it is just one of my favorite things now. Okay, so just getting hands in, I'm gonna mold it all together. Like I said, if you wanna pre-mash your banana, it might come out a bit smoother, but it really doesn't bother me. And just really keep molding for a while because the longer that you mold for, the more it kind of glues together and forms a dough. Should probably have taken my rings off for this. So here we have our cookie dough. It should be looking something like this. It's really up to you how you want to serve this. I would just put it in a bowl and get a spoon and eat it in front of the TV while I'm watching Housewives of Beverly Hills because I'm obsessed with that show recently. I know I'm super late. I've only just started watching it in lockdown because I never ever watch TV. I would rather do so many other things than sit and watch TV. But I had a ridiculous amount of spare time whilst in lockdown, probably like most people out there in the world. And I started watching Housewives of Beverly Hills and I'm completely obsessed. And I need to go and watch it because it's been like two weeks. I haven't seen an episode. Okay, so I'm just gonna transfer this into my bowl now. I don't know how this is gonna look in the video because it just looks like a brown ball. I don't know how to make it look good. I'm gonna go on Google and have a look at how other people are displaying their cookie dough. Cookie dough. Because I try not to Google things because I feel like when you Google things, it takes away from like your imagination. 
Like if you Google a recipe before you try and make a recipe yourself, it's just going to be in your head the whole time and then you're going to be thinking of that and you might miss out things that you would have put in before. So I try not to Google things, but I have no idea how to make this cookie dough look appetizing and not just like this. So I'm just going to look. Okay, so most people are not doing the round blob thing. It's kind of looking a bit more mushy instead. So we're going to go for that look. So before I go and watch my housewives of Beverly Hills, I just want to take a moment to remind everybody that when they're eating, to slow down and eat slowly and take your time, listen to your body, listen to when you're full, stop eating when you're full, don't beat yourself up over anything even if you feel like you ate too much or if you ate something sweet, don't ever regret it because life is so short and food is one of the most natural pleasures ever so you don't ever have to feel bad about enjoying yourself. I hope you guys all love the recipe and let me know what you think.